In this video, we're going to swap two columns in a 2D array in C. To create the 2D array, we'll use some constant values to help us. So we'll say number to find rows 3 and number to find columns 5. And then when we declare the 2D array, we'll say int A, rows, and columns. And this will make a three row, five column 2D array. And we can initialize it with some basic values here. So I'll put one, two, three, four, five in the first row, one, two, three, four, five in the second row, and one, two, three, four, five in the third row. And now we have all ones in the first column, all twos in the second column, and so on. And what we want to be able to do is swap two columns. So maybe this column here with all the twos, maybe we would like to swap that with this column here with all the fours. We'll create a function to help us carry out this swap. Just that way we could use the function multiple times if we like or with multiple 2D arrays. So here I'll say void call swap, and the first argument is going to be the 2D array with these dimensions. So we'll say int array, rows, columns. And the next two arguments are gonna be the column indexes where we wanna perform the swap. So we'll say int call A and int call B. And we'll copy and paste this down here, and then we'll provide a definition of the function. The way we're gonna solve this problem is we're gonna have a loop with a counter variable, and that counter variable is gonna increment over all of the row indexes of our array. And at each row index, we're gonna take what's in the column A index at that row and swap it with what's in the column B index at that row. To do the swap, we're gonna need a temporary variable. So the first thing we'll do is make that. We'll say int temp is equal to zero. Next, we'll make the loop. So we'll say for int i is equal to zero, i is less than rows, i plus plus. So we're starting this counter variable i off at zero, and we're going up until the number of rows in our 2D array, incrementing it by one each time. That's gonna take i over all of the row indexes of our 2D array. Now at each row index, we're gonna to wanna to do the swap at these column indexes. To do the swap, we're gonna store what's at the column index A at that row into temp temporarily. Then we can overwrite what's at the column index A at the current row index with what is in the column index B at the current row index. Then we can then safely take what's in the temp variable here and store that into what's in the column index B at the current row index. And that will complete the swap of those two elements in the 2D array at the current row index. We'll have to do that for all the row indexes, but that's what this loop is doing. So here we'll say temp is equal to array i call a. So take what is in the column a index at the current row index and store it as a temp. Now we can safely overwrite this value. So we'll overwrite this with what is in the array at the current row index at the column B column index. So we've done half of the swap here. We've stored what's at the column B index into the column A index at the current row index. But now what we wanna do is take what is in the temp variable and store that into this column B index here. So we'll say array at I column B index is equal to temp. And this completes the swap. So now we can test this function out. So up here, we'll call column swap with A and we'll give it the index one and the index three. So this column here is index one. This column here is gonna be index three because of the way that arrays work in C where we start counting from zero in terms of the indexes, right? Because this is index zero, one, two, three, four, right? So after we perform the swap, we're gonna have to print the 2D array out just to make sure it actually performed the swap. So we'll make a nested loop here. We'll put a loop inside a loop and we'll go over all of the row indexes and all of the column indexes with two counter variables in these for loops here. And we'll just output the contents of the 2D array here. So I'll say calls J plus plus here. And then here I'll put a printf and I'll print out the value of A at the index IJ. And down here, I'll put a printf with a new line. So what's going on here is this inner loop is taking the counter variable J 
from zero up until the number of columns in the 2D array. And that is inside this outer loop here that is doing this for all of the row indexes of our 2D array with the counter variable i. So when we print out a at i j inside of this loop here, what it's doing is printing out all the values in a given row, because j is going across all the columns in the given row that's given by i. We're going to print out all those values, and then after we're done that, we're going to print out a new line, because we want the next row of values to start on a new line. So we'll save this here and run it, and we expect to get our 2D array here with these two columns swapped. We expect all fours here and all twos here now. And that's what we get. We have one, four, three, two, five now. And we've swapped the two columns in our 2D array. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.